I'm logged in as the administrator, so I'll have access to every feature within the application. Client Care 360 is configurable to allow different users to have the appropriate level or levels of access to perform their job function. Some of the user groups include adult only, child only, adult and child, reporting user, read only user, and administrator. Client Care 360 is HIPAA compliant. Let's open the adult screen and start with the screens used for admittance. To save you the pain of watching me type in data into the system, I've already entered some sample data into the system. We'll breeze through these first few screens uh, to the core of the application, which is program placement assessment or, or uh, assignment, grant funding and attendance, financial and financial reporting and billing. First, we're going to look at my record. You can look up a client's record by either typing in the last first name or their social security number. I typed in just a few letters of my last name, hit tab, and it pulled up my, my information. Some of the fields that we have uh, in here are very basic, first name, last name, address, social security number, date of birth. The, by convention, the blue fields are required fields. This first screen is client info. After the admission form is used to track when a client, when the used to, well, I'm sorry, used to track when a client starts or eventually terminates a particular facility. Medications form is where current and future medications are stored and tracked. The contacts form holds a client's contact information. These four forms, client info, admission, medication, and contacts, make up what we consider to be the first part of the admittance, and, and, that, and that is the admittance part of the application. Next, we'll move on to assessment. The assessment screens, which is sometimes called diagnostics, is, co is comprised of two screens, medical and end dates. These screens are used to track a client's mental health records me and medical conditions during the assessment. The medical form, medical and financial information, which is discovered usually after admittance and during assessment. There's a lot of fields here, so I'll let you take a moment to, to review them. Now we'll move on to end dates. End date, the end dates form contains the dates and results of medical tasks and tracks the end dates. There's a lot of fields here that are important to the client. I could should point out that some of these fields within these forms will be different if it's if we were looking at ch children. Those fields would not show up in in the in the uh, adults form. Some some of these form some of these fields are only for children and they'd be filtered out if the client was a child. The medical and end dates forms hold the data to gather during a client's assessment. Does anyone have any questions at this point? Up to this point, the client has, if you do, please email me at the end of the demonstration. Up to this point, the client has been admitted and has had an initial assessment completed and entered into the system. Based on this assessment, the, the client is then placed into the programs that meet their needs. So now we'll move on to program placement. To assign a client to one or more services first requires you to assign, to assign 
the client to a division and a program. Then use the lower section here to enter the date they started that location, teach your program manager assigned, and then later outcome the end date when the client is no longer in that location. Service assignment is very important. The service assignment is where the, the client is, is assigned to the service that they're going to attend. I've already entered in uh, for myself that I'm going to participate in the service of day habilitation facility starting at the first of the year and ending at the end of the year. There could be more. I may participate in the the this that same service for the for the next year and fall and following. Each entry is sh should correlate with a a, a, fun, a grant, which we'll cover in a little bit. An assigned service start date and end date should correspond to their grants end date and start and end dates but more on that during when we get into funding. The important point here to note is that a client can be assigned to a service even though they haven't received funding for that service yet, which often is the case if you have a new client that comes in. In the case where the client is transferring from another facility and their, fun their funding may transfer with them, the funding section could be filled out before assigning a client to a service, in which case the funding start date may actually not match the client's assignment start date. And we have a special, and some special fields to cover that, that, those, circum, those circumstances. The next screen is inactive, and it's sim simply used to terminate a client. Let's move on to the, the grant funding. Now I've already entered in my whoops, my funding uh, information. The most important form in the application in this application is the funding screen. A client's grant may come from one or four sources. Com comprehensive, SLS waiver, SLS state, EBD, elderly, elderly blind, disabled or unknown. Right now unknown is not being used. This might be a good point to, not, to mention that the convention throughout the system again is the blue fields are required, the, the white fields are not. So right now I'm assigned to a service that, and I, 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 well, we did my assignment over here on the, in the program screen. I have funding, this screen is for funding, and I have been funded at tier 7, there's uh, many tiers that I'm funded by, and we're going to put in that I'm funded for a thousand units. And then we're going to click the save record button. Carryover units is an interesting field. What this field is for is when, when you have uh, a client come over from another, transfer from another facility, they may have been granted a thousand units, but they might have used a hundred of those, those units already, therefore leaving only 900 units available. In that case, we would put a hundred in here uh, to show that the, the hundred units, uh, the, to the total, which it says down here at the bottom, uh, of the screen is the total units minus the units consumed equals the carryover units. So, so I'm wrong. It's actually what we would we would type in 900. These are the amount of units that are that will carry over into our system. But for now, we're going to we're going to type in zero because I'm in this circumstance. I'm not coming from another facility. I'm starting fresh in, in, in this facility. Now we're going to move to the attendance screen. 